Alan Wake. story beat fit the story perfectly.
I had a new scene to use, a new setting. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story.
shit, shit! I had a new beat for the story. signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Wake.
I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there. Hunting me. heart was the key. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. I'd felt it, hanging in the air. A meaning, 
the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride, making you crazier. The station had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Helping me. Did you go deeper to the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello?
Maybe he was a victim. The cult, using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Alice working on. just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then 
then... Ellen hit a block. That brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Ellen was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place, to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing.
Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the Dark Place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the Dark Place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I I'm not sure how much I can trust. It it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? 
A cloud of wrath wears my face, the dark place in your place, scratching out my body of work. Scratches here, in Washington. He's hunting Wake. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay, Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the...